surprise, motherfucker. Triple kill. That's how you play them out. Nerf this. I love this Tommy gun. You're not good, bro. You're not. I'm with it. <laughs> They're mad, bro. Boy! You're not good, nigga. I'm looking for something. <laughs> They're mad. We have to. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of the room and play Minecraft! Shut up! He said I'm not that good even though I killed them. Bro, this dude has freaking atomic. This is an atomic MP40. <gasps> what the heck? I ran into a dude with an Atomic MP40 out here. <laughs> That's crazy. How do people have Atomic? Were these dudes hacking or something? Would you still care to talk to me? So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Nino or Quaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Warzone Pacific. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about another underrated SMG that's most likely going to take over the MP40 after it gets its nerf here in the next couple of days, like I talked about in my previous video. And the SMG that I'm talking about today is the M1912 or the Tommy Gun. The Tommy Gun legit is one of the best SMGs in the game currently, even with the MP40 still on top, even before it's nerfed. But with the class of that I pretty much created for it this gun is now utilized in super super close quarters combat because i maxed out its fire rate with a lot of attachments and i maxed out its damage as well it's not gonna be doing very well at longer ranges so that's why for this video i decided to play some rebirth island but this setup should still work really well in caldera as long as you're using you know like an ar for longer range kills and then the tommy gun for short to medium range kills. So this thing is a melt machine, and as you guys saw from the intro clips, I made a lot of people mad. What did you guys think about that Atomic MP40? After looking at that MP40 like a good bit, unlike the hacker video that I had a little bit a while ago, do you guys think the, the Atomic Camo is gonna be worth grinding for uh, here to use in Warzone? Do you guys think it looks good in Warzone? How does it compare to other Mastery Camos from other games? I'm just kind of curious to hear you guys' thoughts, but yeah, in this video, you guys are gonna see a really, really good Rebirth Island gameplay that I got on warzone here with the tommy gun you know with some randoms and you guys will kind of see how i play some rebirth so if you guys are excited to see this fastest killing fastest firing max damage tommy gun utilized for short to medium range kills so that you guys can also use this class setup for yourselves and you guys can see what makes this class setup so good if you guys are excited for all this make sure you guys drop a like subscribe you and turn on those notifications. we're less than 2200 subscribers away from that ultimate goal of 100k and we should be hitting 98,000 in like uh like on monday or tuesday which is just insane to think about so thank you for being a big part of my life the fact that we're just on the cusp or we're 98 percent of the way there to to this just ultimate goal is amazing to me so just thank you guys for changing my life every single day i i gotta tell you guys that i'm always thankful because it, it's a blessing to be here so Thank you for entrusting me with your time, and in return, hopefully I give you the right entertainment and informational value so that your time isn't wasted here. So thank you for being here. Also, if you have the fair time, follow me on all of my social media, follow me on my Facebook channel known as Carnichiro, and follow me on my other YouTube channel known as More Carnichiro. On those channels, I'll be uploading Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer content that you'll never see here on the Warzone channel. So if you ever wanted to see me play Vanguard multiplayer, go to those channels. But if you love my energy on Warzone here, then make sure you guys just stay here. Also, shout out to the couple of you guys that wanted to see the Tommy Gun in the comment section below of my videos. So if anybody watching this Warzone video right now wants to be my future Warzone videos with their comments shown on screen, just like these beautiful people that I just showed off. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and comment down what Warzone gun I should use next. I'm down to use any Warzone gun, and if I make a video on a Warzone gun and I see your comment, then your comment can put onto that video for the whole world to see, which would be really freaking amazing. But that's what I'm gonna be talking. You guys are gonna be seeing the Rebirth Island gameplay first, and then you guys will see the class setup at the end. The gameplay always comes first to make sure that you guys know that I'm not BSing you with this gun. This gun is an absolute freaking melt machine. That's what you guys deserve to see here on the video. So yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, stick through to the end. Just know that I really freaking love you guys with all my heart. And what other SMGs do you guys think are mighty and can oppose the Tommy Gun here in Warzone? Anyways, enjoy the gameplay. So here we are playing some Call of Duty Warzone Pacific. 
on Rebirth Island. Today we're rocking and rolling with that good old Tommy gun from Call of Duty Vanguard. You guys probably know how good this gun is. I decided to make an updated class setup with it and hopefully we can have a good time here. I am not the best player ever and I need a good gun here. Okay, there you go. Hopefully we can get a lot of money quick so we can uh, really show off this, uh, this gun well. You got money, you got money. There we go. Bro, why does he do keep inviting me, bro? My goodness. Okay, you got Tommy. Just gotta do it up top, apparently. I'm gonna let the teammates kind of handle that. I'm getting this, dude. Nerf this. They straight up got played, bro. Do it. Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! This dude really thought. Thanks for the free stuff, though. I appreciate that. Where are these dudes at, bro? His teammate went somewhere over here. Oh, I see now. How should I take care of these dudes? The question. No fair! No fair! That was fun. Stay up here for a little bit. See what these dudes do. I'm trying to get rid of my helicopter. You are trash! I was not ready for that, bro. I was just not ready. <sighs> there you go. Okay. Can I actually spend some time alive, please? There's some dudes over there. I might decide to push that because the helicopter here. See, actually, be doable. We just gotta gotta be careful because these dudes are gonna be weird. Surprise, motherfucker! Sorry. Come on, bruh. I'll let him stay alive. That's fine with me. Play with our food a bit, you know? No, God! No, I just wanted the uh, teammates to spawn in, basically. That means three easy kills. Tommy Gun does have a lot of recoil, which is the only downfall of this thing. Hey yo, what the fuck? The man more! Yes, sir. We're just farming these players now, bro. Like the fools they are. Get these dudes. But they're all hiding together, bro. Boy! They're all upstairs. Is he down here? I'm just farming them at this point, bro. I don't really care. They can spawn whatever, wherever they want, bro. Absolute hardest to stay alive, bro. 
hilarious. Easy cash out here. Bro, what the f This dude really fucking camped that corner, bro. That's insane. Easy cash. We out here. There you go. This little, what, 13, 14 kill victory with the Tommy gun? We were just, just spawn trapping them, bro. That was an interesting game. My team was really good. They knew exactly what we were doing. That's what you gotta do in Rebirth. You gotta farm, like, the last couple of teams. Let them kind of live for a little bit. Let their teammates spawn in. Just keep bodying them until the final circle where um, you're not allowed to respawn anymore, but hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe and turn on notifications. That was uh, that was pretty fun. I thought we gonna do be hitting though. If you wanna make it have more recoil control, if you run the, the the barrel that gives you more recoil control. The barrel I have gives you more fire rate, which is nice, but I kinda want some ranged kills, so it's up to you honestly. I like this class setup though, it really helps with the, uh, the rushing. Okay, was it 14 kills? I think I have 14 kills. Oh, uh, 13. I, that should have been my 14th there at the end. Oh well, it is what it is. So hope you guys enjoyed that nice little Rebirth Island victory there on Call of Duty freaking Warzone. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys the general setup here first before I show you guys the attachments. That's what I meant to do there. And uh, now let's look at the gunsmith attachments. This Tommy gun is legit really, really freaking amazing. As you guys saw, it legit is built for close quarters combat. So now let's talk about the attachments a little bit more in depth. The muzzle is gonna be the recoil booster and I love this muzzle because it just straight up increases the fire rate of the gun. And when you increase the fire rate of any gun, this means that it has a faster time to kill by default. And since it already has a really fast fire rate, increasing that fire rate even more means this thing just melts like crazy in close quarters combat. So make sure you use that muzzle. The barrel is gonna be doing a similar effect, the chariot 2.5 inch rapid because all it does is increase the fire rate once again. And this pretty much increases the fire rate to the max combined with the recoil booster, allowing you to have the fastest killing potential possible because you're increasing that fire rate to the max. So once again, for close quarters combat, this is great. It's good for any range, but it just gets a little harder to control at longer ranges. Our optic is going to be the slate reflector because it's one of the cleanest optics in the game. Our stock is going to help us with recoil control and accuracy because this gun is going to have a lot of recoil from having so much fire rate uh, increasing attachments. So having the Ragdoll T2 support is gonna help this gun a ton for kind of medium range kills in a sense. You won't be able to go for long range kills, that's for sure, but at least with medium range kills, it'll be a lot easier. Uh, Underbell is gonna be the Carver Foregrip, which is also gonna help with recoil control. You could also run the M1941 hand stop for recoil control. You guys can like switch between these two and see what you like better, or even the M1930 Strife Angled. Uh, but uh, between all those, the Carver Foregrip seemed to be the most effective for me. The magazine is going to be the 8mm Kurz 100 round drum mags and I love this magazine because it increases the fire or the damage of this gun. And by increasing the damage, having a, a damage increasing mag and then two attachments to help with the fire rate means that this gun has the max damage possible with its fastest killing potential. It's just going to shred through any freaking buddy that it runs into and you have a 100 round. Which means for multiple opponents you won't have to worry about ammo at all. You can spray and pray at your opponents like you have an LMG in your hand, which is just great. Ammunition is going to be subsonic, so we don't appear on the map every time we shoot, which is great. Rear grip is going to be the polymer grip to have maximum recoil control out of all the rear grips in this section. Perk is going to be slide of hand, so we get and reload those 100 rounds like nothing. And perk 2 is going to be quick, so we can rush around the map faster, which is what a SMG should be used for. So, yeah, this is a pretty freaking unorthodox 10 attachment. Tommy gun to class, class it up, and let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think you guys might be rocking it here in the future? Do you guys like the Tommy gun? Do you guys think it's going to be better than the MP40 once the MP40 is nerfed? I definitely do think it is, and it's such a good gun even right now. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you did. And shout out to all of you guys for just being here at the end of the video, because without you guys, none of this would be possible. 
Special shout out to the channel members for giving extra support on the channel. You are greatly appreciated. And like I said before, just you guys, the viewers, man, we're just so close to 100k. I am oh, forever just thankful for, for every freaking video that I can make because uh, you guys make life possible for me. And I just want to say you're awesome for that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video here. Just uh, we're going to have a really big update on Tuesday. I'm, I'm assuming the mid-season update. So stay tuned for that. I might have some update videos on my second channel. Time out a couple things. If you guys want to talk about like update stuff, make sure you guys are on my second channel. Otherwise, I might upload some things here on the main channel until then. We'll see. But anyways, I really freaking love you all.